another kind of <laughs> the Sounders are trying to get back into their form. You know, there was this talk about a hangover from the CCL final. I did not buy that. You know, you lose the Open Cup game, totally fine. It's Open Cup. That's not the top priority. CCL final and the MLS Cup are your priorities. You win C- uh, Open Cup, sure, fine. Another trophy to add to the the case. But, you know, it's a tough situation. Uh, you try to get back into prioritizing actual MLS play. They beat Minnesota. You lose to Colorado. No teams have really been able to win in Colorado. So I kind of give you some slack there. But Charlotte comes to town. Charlotte, an expansion team. They're 5-2 at two at home. But now they I, – I, well, heading into this matchup, there were zero wins, five losses, one draw on the road. Mm-hmm. So obviously they can't win away from home. With that being said, the Sounders helped with that, uh, beating Charlotte 2-1. to one. This is a comeback win. Uh, the Sounders had to score two second-half goals uh, in order to uh, get the three points. Player of the game, uh, Raul Ruiz Diaz, an 80th-minute winner. Uh, I don't want to speak much about it, and I would rather just show you because this – I was a little busy during this, but I did watch it, and it was a little bit insane. Yeah. He's – his momentum is carrying him away from the ball, and there's still a shot that is damn near impossible. I just, I'm going to roll it. <laughs> He'll recover. Rui Diaz on the right foot drives in, and Rui Diaz has scored. 2 1, Seattle. How do you, I mean, falling away, still, compl- Raul continues to be a guy that amazes. Uh, one of the guys that is one of the Sanders all time leading scorers and always steps up in big moments. So, I mean, great what to did get. you call him a few weeks ago? Clutch? And I would say that. Yeah. Look at that clutch shot there. <laughs> I mean, what, two goals in the final to, to win that? It's just, he's a guy that you wanted to lock up, and I'm glad that they did this offseason. Um, and it was it's nice to continue that uh, like i said you had been out of the playoff uh out of any playoff race when you were playing in ccl but obviously there was something bigger at hand it seems like they're really getting back into rhythm i'm not saying that they're fully in rhythm right now but they're they're getting back to it is my point so uh it's actually funny the with this game on sunday it begins the Sounders first ever five match homestand. Yeah. They have never played more than three MLS home games in a row before. And the most for all competitions was four in three different instances, 2011, 2020 and 2021 uh, long stretches that were more common when they were in the a league or the USL era, uh, multiple six game homestands and eight match runs in 2008, but never in MLS. So we got some, uh, some big homestands coming around here yeah. in the city. Um, so anyway, we'll continue. Uh, Jao Paulo on the 25th had successful surgery to repair his ACL tear in his right knee. So now it's the best of luck uh, with his recovery, trying to get back one of the MVP finalists in the league, let alone being the Sounders MVP last season. Um, just hoping that Jao can uh, come back as, as strong as ever and uh, obviously no setbacks for him as he rehabs. On the 27th, the injury report against Charlotte was completely clean. So you like to see that. Uh, so with that being said, the Sounders moved to a five win, six loss, one draw record. Uh, they are 10th in the Western Conference now, so not quite yet in a playoff spot, but they're looking for it. Um, on the 14th, they will play the Vancouver Whitecaps in their next matchup. So they're, they've got an international break now. They won't be doing much um, outside of the guys who are actually going uh, to play for their teams. Uh, and that is a 7.30 p.m. start time at Lumen Field. So this is a Cascadia matchup. Obviously, anything Cascadia is always sure to get its draw, and I love it. Uh, you love the rivalry. You love how that goes, but you need to take care of business. Yeah. Um, so we'll see them continue rolling.